Okay, I want to quickly walk you through downloading and saving the um, Ninja 8 Easy Renko HMA scalp um, indicators. So once you go to the site and you choose to purchase them, you'll be receiving an email like this with a link as well as right after checkout you should um, have a pop-up with a link. So you'll click on that and then once your window pops open you'll click here where it says click here and it's going to ask you um, open or save. You want to save that zip file so hit OK and wherever your downloads typically save that's where you're going to find it. Mine goes in my downloads and then what um, I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this onto my desktop so it's easy to um, find it and you can do whatever you like but that's where I put it and then you can drag it into a folder and save all your indicators because um, I, I usually save them off away from my um, computer off-site like basically um, like out in the cloud like in Dropbox or something so if anything ever happens I still have access to all my indicators should my computer crash or something along those lines so once you have your indicator showing up this is going to be your indicators for that HMA scalp whole moving average scalp Then you're going to go to tools import ninja script add-on and once that pops open you're going to find the one that you just saved so it's on my desktop and I'm going to um, find it on my list here and I can see it right here Easy Renko HMA and you're going to click on that and choose open I'm not going to do it because I already have it loaded on my um, Ninja Trader but you'll click on that and then choose open and then it will install your indicator into Ninja Trader 8. If it pops up and says that you already have a newer version of something already on your computer, do you want to replace it? Just say no on any time that pops up. And then once you're finished importing that, then you can bring up whatever chart you want to put it on. Um, I don't know if how well it's going to work on anything other than a Renko. I'm sure it will work on something large. Like you don't want to put it on a small range chart because you're going to get lots of back and forth above and below that whole moving average. But you could put it on, let's say, a five minute or a one minute or like a 12 or 16 range, something along those lines. But um, once you import it, just right click on your chart, go to indicators, and you'll find it on your list under Easy Renko HMA. I already have it on my chart, but right here, Easy Renko HMA, and then just um, double click and it'll show up over here. I'm just going to go right to mine. Now, you have a WAV file, and it's called NQ HMA. I'll put that somewhere for you to download it. Um, I'll put it on the web page for you to download it with the indicator and I'll show you where to put it but this is going to be the file and it's um, like a computerized alert you can change it if you want and then just put it in your sound folder I'll show you how to do that um, but here you're going to notice that you have filter using the MACD or filter using cumulative volume we're going to skip the cumulative volume one because I'm going to need to do a webinar on that um, after I test it, but we just left it on there so Gordon doesn't have to do the work a second time. So if you choose to filter based on the MACD, when price gets um, below, like closes below the whole moving average and the MACD histogram is plotting below zero, you'll get an entry price here. If it closes above let's find one here right here closes above the Renko excuse me above the um, whole moving average and the histogram is above zero you'll get a buy signal so just refer back to the webinar that we did on um, on those scalps because if if you're not familiar with support and resistance then you know probably best not to be taking a lot of those then the other option is you can uncheck that and I'll hit apply here and that won't use any filter and what that will do is every time
price gets below the whole moving average, it'll give you a signal every time it gets above, below, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you notice you got these pink square, uh, pink arrows for down, green for up. And so this is using no filter at all. So as always with any setup that you use, if you're very sideways and how you can tell is if you have a very flat moving average, for example, just be aware of where support and resistance areas are. Okay. These are meant just for scalps and this is just an easy way for it to give you the um, entry price. And so the entry price that it's using is um, one tick above the bar that closes above the super, uh, excuse me, above the whole moving average or one tick below the bar that closes below the whole moving average. I have the, um, the Renko setup stuff on here as well. That's why you're getting these signals as it's closing above or below the um, super trend. So totally up to you, um, you know, how many of those you want to take, but just be careful. Um, I always hesitate putting anything out there for scalps because people think that they can just take every single one without thinking and you really can't you guys. Okay. So I hope you find that helpful and, um, oh, let me just show you where to put the sound file. So, um, like I said, I'll put it somewhere for you to easily locate it. And then, so you're going to download it and save it once you do. Um, wherever you downloaded it to, you're going to want to get it into your um, Ninja Sound folder and you'll go to local disk C, you'll go to program files um, times 86 and then go to Ninja Trader 8 and sounds and then just drop the WAV file in there. So this is the one I'll put out there for you to download and then just drop it in there. And if you want to do your own alert, um, WAV file, that's fine. What you will want to make sure is that you have um, the WAV file here on HMA Cross, right here, where it says um, NQHMA. That's the name of the file, the, the WAV file. If you're using something different that says, you know, maybe um, just HMA, let's just pretend you make one up and you name it HMA, then this is going to want to say HMA. So you have to have the full name of the file um, in here with the folders. And so since everything's already in there, you're just going to have to change this little part right here if you're going to change the um, WAV file. And this is already in here if you're going to use this one. Then if you don't want to use a WAV file, um, if there's no file in there with that name, then you don't need to put change anything. But um, I would recommend if you don't want any sound file, then just highlight it and delete the whole thing. Okay, so I hope you find that helpful, you guys, and I will um, chat with you all later. Okay, take care.